Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Are you a super giant fan of Marvel Snap? Well, I got a super giant deck for you, which got us 27 cubes and got us to rank 77. We basically just absolutely cruised through the ranks. Nothing could beat us, and we only lost one game. Yes, one game. The rest of them were just one cube retreats because there is no easy way to lose with this deck. Because what are we trying to do? We're trying to make super giant's ability as most profitable as we can. That's why playing stuff like Atuma. That's how you can play stuff like miss marvel without getting fear of rogue gladiator absolutely not having any downsides with cards like zero and same with the other cards like lizard medusa and then mr fantastic putting so much work here he's probably the best card into the deck i think him and alive are like the best cards in the deck because mr fantastic almost always gives you priority because he gets to spread two power mid and two power to the side lanes which always gives you priority which lets you kill all your opponent's stuff with the alive move their stuff with arrow even even though you can make so many misplays with Arrow and Super Giant, please watch the video till the end so you can see my screw up so you don't do the same thing. Nebula, of course, is the best one cost in the game. Nothing can compare. Zero to just negate your bad stuff like Gladiator, your Atuma, and your Lizard. Daredevil, so you can do the famous Daredevil snap and win one cube. Medusa, because she's absolutely cracked in this deck. Just a, well, uh, just like a, this is like a tempo deck. She's a five attack card and that's all you really need. Mr. Fantastic already explained. Playing Gladiator can be replaced by Maximus, but I really like the Gladiator. Miss Marvel is the best stats deck in the game. Super Giant, the deck, the, well, the deck is named after her. You probably have her if you're clicking on the video. Atuma, of course, combines with Zero, and you can sometimes just leave him in a lane and he will win. People just can't handle the 12 power. They think you're gonna play something into it, or they will waste a Shang-Chi on it. Arrow to move the opponent's stuff. This can be really good with clogging the opponent's stuff and causing you favorable positions to win, uh, of course, the Alive. The Alive is the best card in the deck. Probably because it's just an instant win if you get Super Giant and Alive to close the game out. It kills a lot of combo decks, as you will see in the video ahead. So, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a quick like, comment, and subscribe as I do these every day. It helps me a lot. And now, boys, let's make a Super Giant snap onto the ladder. Okay, boys, I don't say this a lot, but I think I found a deck that actually just breaks the game in half with Super Giant. So, if you want to pull her, I suggest... I think she will be quite good. Like, we have only one thing here. We're playing Lockdown, but without the Lockdown. We're just playing a high, high tempo deck. That's all we need. We don't need anything aside from tempo and tempo-like plays. So we play stuff like Lizard, Gladiator, Miss Marvel, Atuma, and it will all go and coalesce into the strongest thing known as, well, a W. So we're gonna play Lizard immediately in the left lane. Kamara Taj is a big problem, but hopefully it will not come up. Because Kamara Taj is like the most annoying location in the game, I swear to god. Either you're instantly winning the game off of it or losing, like, there you go. That is probably one of the worst locations in the game for us. Uh, Valley of the Hand. Yeah, no matter what we pull right now, it's pretty bad. Let's see. Gladiator bringing out Zabu. Well, he's gonna come back on turn 5. Which is... So, so... We don't care about Zabu, we don't energy cheat. Um... Well, we don't have any of our broken plays. We don't have Super Giant, we don't have Alayev. We have Medusa, which isn't bad, but... Yeah, you know, like, Medusa is... This is okay. We're gonna miss Marvel right here. And we're gonna arrow right, probably. Like, this is really good for us. Oh, wait! What is that? Killmonger. Well, that's pretty powerful, considering we're not... Well, so, well we're still not losing priority. Oh, the squirrels will revive. Oh, I gotcha. That was the combo. That's what he intended to do. So I moved the Killmonger, I guess? I have a life for anything. For any of the worries we might have. Okay, we're gonna arrow. There we go. Uh, they're pretty much dead. Well, the end's here. If he snaps, we're gonna snap back, definitely. There's even a stronger play we can do, which is just, like, a life thing left. But I like a life mid. Killmonger, Mobius, Zabu, Sarah. This is just the standard Sarah list, correct? That's what everyone's thinking. They don't run any broken shit to kill us, so we're pretty much fine. We won't snap, we'll just play a life here and clear the best deck in the game immediately. Like, we're not even gonna worry about it. 
Jeff mid will not be enough. They need more. They need more stuff. And this will just not be enough. I'm, I'm more expecting, like, I don't know, Doctor Doom shenanigans. If that happens, we're pretty much dead. Otherwise, we're cooking. Like, there is nothing they can do. And I doubt they expect the Alive. Maybe we should snap. Yeah, I'm gonna snap. Fuck. Ah! Legion. Uh, interesting. Uh, well, that was a very nice play. Too bad, sir. You're dead. I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it. <laughs> there you go. Alive wins us another game. And I think this deck will be a super giant problem. Ah, uh, ah, uh, that's a great joke, isn't it? I'm already up by how many cubes? I'm gonna check up by 20 cubes. What can I say? I think this is one of the best decks I've cooked so far. I've tinkered with the... Like, this is my old Destroyer list, I've just added a couple of cards, like discarded other cards, and just added to make the best list possible. We got a random Storm, this might be one of the best cards in the game to get right here. I don't know, like... Quantum Realm is... Oof. <laughs> Oof, that's not good. That's not good. Quantum Realm is terrible. Base power getting set to 2 is fine, but... Xandar. I have a lizard that put the- Oh, well. Yeah, I should snap here. I don't have- No, actually I won't. I'll play Storm mid. Yeah, I like Storm mid. Because I get to Atuma for free on Xandar. Just in case I really need the Pryo. And this way we're keeping an eye on them. Storming it out. So the master discarding the Black Widow. This is like a hella deck. I've seen these way too many times to ever be surprised again. Uh, do we just no no? Do, do we just gladiator? Do I just instantly lose the game, guys? What do you think about instantly losing you the game? Is that a good line? No, I don't think it is. We will miss the fantastic. This will grant us priority almost always. Jubilee. A giganto. We still have priority. That's all we really need. And there we go. That is quite literally one of the best cards in the game. What am I talking about? It is quite literally the best card in the game. Uh, arrow on right. Can this backfire in any certain way? Like, Atuma... Yeah, I'll play Atuma on right. I like the prior. Hellcow discarding Odin. And Hela. And Blade discarding... Lady Sif. Well, they might think they can win with like a Ghost Rider or something. They might think they're funny, and but no. I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it. You're, you're dead, boy. You are! You actually are dead. Because Xandar gives us plus one power, and that means you die. Yeah, that means Alaif is free, Mr. Fantastic gives us two. Alive him out of the game. Of course he retreats. There was nothing he could have done. This was a game that absolutely he could not beat us in. There we go, granting us even more cubes. Like, I think I kind of broke the game with Supergiant right now. I'm just playing the deck I thought that would be the best. And I'm glad I'm correct. I have a super... I made a super giant good deck. Eh, eh. It's not a lockdown deck. There is no things like... I don't know, Storm, there is no Professor X. I just wanted to play a tempo list. I didn't see one in a while, and I was so like, man, we need to bring tempo back. Tempo is the coolest deck. Like, it's one of the coolest decks in the game. I wish Alive wasn't part of it, but it would be pretty cool if there was some other stuff that would be playable. And not just be Sarah Turbo all day. Zabu, there we go. Probably against Sarah. We're gonna see what we can do. We need to just deal with Mojo World, and the rest will solve itself. Uh, I think I should just Medusa. Uh, top decking a uh, Super Giant might be pretty great. I think top decking Super Giant will be like broken right here. Iron Lad, Rogue. Good to know my Mister Fantastic will get stolen. Oh, that's not good. No Super Giant. That's so bad. Super Giant makes Atuma's downside in basically non-existent, so it will be fine. Is he gonna Rogue me immediately? No, he's gonna wait. He's waiting probably for the Miss Marvel. Mobius. There's the Miss Marvel. Okay, let's see what he got. I hope he plays something into Necrosha, and the last card he plays, if he even doesn't play anything, falls into Mojo World as the final card he plays. No, no, we can't do that actually. That's impossible. 
Hmm. Hmm. What can we do here? I have to just make a board state where I, I always win. Uh, there's Jeff and there's a rock slide. Okay then. So it's a Darkhawk like deck. That Jeff is our giant ass problem. Yeah, if I do this, it's not even that good. The final card he played was Mobius, and we really don't care about Mobius, but we care about a lot of other things. Um, we are supposed to try to live him out of the game. We're gonna have about 18 power mid. We have to remember we're gonna get our power stolen from Rogue. But then he doesn't win Mojo World, does he? Like, we're gonna move Mobius mid. If he wants the Dark Hawk, we gotta let him. Uh, we're dead. <laughs> we're dead. No sugarcoating. I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it. We're dead. He plays Dark Hawk somewhere. He has the best single drop in the game. He has Zabu. We cannot beat this. No Super Giant, no Zero. That is just really bad. We need, like, Zero into something or Gladiator Zero. There are so many ways we can just... There's so many ways to skin this cat. And we just didn't get any ways to skin them, actually. Oh my god, that is just like, it's not great. It's not great, not the best hand ever. And, well, we actually do beat Darkhawk quite handily. They need to play something like good on 5 from Sarah to combo off completely with, like, Rock Slide or Zob if they didn't get it on turn 2. We don't care about any of the cards in the meta, like Shang-Chi. The only thing that Shang-Chi kills is Atuma, but Super Giant protects the Atuma anyway, until the end of the game, unless they specifically predicted that it was an Atuma. Mr. Fantastic is the best way to gain priority in the entire game, and, like, Miss Marvel is a great extender, but this is just... This was not the game for us to win. Any single way we shave it, it's not that good. Maybe we could have played Arrow into Lake Hellas, but I don't even know then. Like, I just don't know. Was it good enough? No, it wasn't. It just wasn't. They can play Darkhawk mid, and then we're just dead. And I can't ally of it, but that then we also run into a problem where we're winning Mojo World, but we're losing in other lanes, and that is just simply something we cannot lay to happen. Even the best deck can lose once or twice, and who cares about that? When you see the win rate and you see the clear rate. Wine, one of the top players in the entire world, let's see what he's playing. Shuri's Lab. Uh, that's not that good for us. We have, like, three good targets for it. Like, Atuma is okay. Let's just hope it's not, like, a destroy deck where they snap immediately. Like, Hellas is pretty good. Well, Medusa there. Actually, a Lizard left. Yeah. Scorpion. Too little, too late, buddy. I've already played my Lizard. Getting his attack to 10. We're gonna Medusa. This is, like, a high Evo deck. Muar Island. I'm definitely gonna go Super Giant next turn. Muar Island. Descend. Of course. Ugh. Yeah. Disgusting. Uh, Super Giant Fret Go. Well, let's see, is that a magic? Because Haivo might be good against this deck. We're gonna see what they're playing. And from there, we can infer what to do. Because our hand isn't looking good. We have zero, I guess, but... Hmm. There's no way to gain priority here. And that's really bad. Because they played Sunspot mid. Even if I did play, like... I expected them to actually play, like, the thing left and not Sunspot for nothing. They can't magic. They passed turn. There is a way to gain priority. I've unlocked the way. Like, I literally unlocked the path to gain priority. There is no mana cheating going on, so he's just forced into... I FORGOT MY OWN SUPER GIANT! I am the worst player Ever, ever, ever. I am dog shit. I am the worst. I am so bad. I deserve everything bad. Oh my god. 
How did I blunder this hard? Oh my god. How did I mess up so badly? Even if he passes on Sunspot, I think we still win. Who plays Shang-Chi in that fucking deck? Shang-Chi She-Hulk, right? Yeah, I'm dead. Zero. Gladiator, Medusa. Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on! That is just like, of course he's playing teched out high evo. Of course! Like, come on, that was so bad. I am d I need to learn how to play with Super Giant better. Ah, uh, even I can blunder. I made such a mistake. I forgot that Arrow wouldn't reveal. If Arrow revealed, we won. Because we just put the Sunspot left, we don't care at all anymore. But then, uh, that, that's the problem. We didn't have priority. Up against the Pine Tree, we were already beaten him once. Let's see what we can do again. He is playing the best deck in the game, which is Sarah, so we'll see what we can do. White Hot Room, absolutely the best location. One of the best locations for Sarah. Asteroid M, pretty bad for us, really good for him. Yeah, this is ending up being like a complete location just fest here. Zabuan 2. Yeah, I hope they kill this card. I know every one of you is getting it, but man, the Zabu. I'm glad other content creators are finally saying it. This card, man, like, holy shit. Holy shit, Zabu. What a card. He is, he is such a card. Ghost, oh, wonder what the deck this is. Tech out, tech, tech, tech. How can I lock him out? Is there a way? Supposed to go for zero, maybe. Naki snaps always here. I have no, like, faith on him not snap. What? Okay, Mobius. What is he playing? Can I threaten a snap here? Ah, he just plays Sarah and we're kind of dead. Zabu, Sarah, Mobius, Ghost. That's just like every single answer in the game. Why would you snap? I can still retreat even though Daredevil is here, you know? Like, that's not how the card works. I get to retreat. Huh? Killmonger, Jeff. Well, no Sarah. Yeah, but he still plays Shang-Chi the deck, so... Pretty bad, all things considered. Is there a way to gain priority here? A Killmonger will jump mid, killing uh, R0, which is free stats, that's really good. Uh, they have a Jeff that they can move anywhere, basically, which also gives their al my life more pause. Mm. It's a tough one. It's definitely tough. We don't have Super Giant, basically. Super Giant is what we need to beat Sarah. It is the single card that murders Sarah, and we just didn't get it. Just no Super Giant. And that is like the one matchup I really want to see Super Giant in. Okay, okay. Like, did I mess up? Yes. But that doesn't matter. We messed up once, and then we just lost a game that you would always lose. Like, it's the best deck in the game. What did you expect? Up against Arlo, that character from The Walking Dead. No, no, that was Arvo. Man, The Walking Dead game sucked. Oh my god. We'll play Daredevil right here. And seeing New York is quite good. Angela. Kitty Pride isn't buffed, uh, or so I think. I know an OTA came out today, but... Hey guys, let me cook. <laughs> like, let me cook, okay? Hey, that's a little early on the Killmonger, don't you think? Let my Zero come out first. <laughs> and then I kill him, like we kill him, there we go. <laughs> this is so sick. If he switches the location, I'm beyond dead, but otherwise I don't care. I do this. Bishop, it's a Sarah deck, okay? If he can swap out Valley of the Hand, I'm dead, but if he doesn't, we kind of win. We kind of chill. Okay. 
Iron Man. Uh, yeah, Shuri's lab is yours, buddy. You you can have it. I don't care about Shuri's lab, not anymore. I can take priority. I can also take an. I can move Iron Man, if I really care about it. Like if I really give a shit, but I kind of don't. You know, I can have priority. Uh, how much is this? This is 18, in terms of stat lines. Angela gets 2, he has 28. It's not that rough, actually. I thought it would be way worse for us. Hey, we're gonna snap here. Like, we have to, at least because we have Daredevil, if anything. Yeah, I like this. I like this a lot. I would have welcomed way more, like, uh... I mean, we always have priority. What am I talking about? My Atuma revives. Of course they have priority. Uh, it's the famous quote of, I don't know how you solve the problem. And I don't really care. Biden blast! Like, kill him. Doesn't matter. Nothing matters. I, like, move the daredevil. We get alive to replace him and the game ends on the spot. Like, who cares? Unless he plays Shang-Chi. In like, wait, if he plays Shang, I'm dead. Huh? What's that, Galactus? Guys, it's a robot! You're a robot! Arlo, you're a robot! Nobody told me. This is a bot. I was legit sweating against the bot. What the hell? Like, come on. That's embarrassing. I'm sorry, guys. How did I even think for a second that I would lose? Let's play one more game. One more to seal the deal. One more to showcase how good this deck is. My god, what a crazy-ass deck. This is one of the best decks I think I've played in a while because it just feels so good to play. It's really good on the draw. It feels absolutely, like, perfect. Uh, up against... <laughs> Apparently I'm dying. Uh, Black Scarlet, he's playing Electro Ramp, and he just lost the ramp portion of his deck. We've lost the two costs, but there's a lot of two costs to draw. If we draw one of them, we're cooking. Like, we kind of can't lose. Zero is pretty rough. That's not a good draw. Not, not right now. The Kiln. There is a specific card that if I top deck right now, we always win. Wave, uh... We have priority, so his Galactus can go fuck off. Like, <laughs> wait. This is how we dance around Galactus. Yeah, nice Galactus. Well, we're dead. Uh, I hope he snaps. If he snaps, we're... Wait. I'm getting two off of Fantastic. He decided to play nothing at all. All the boy needs is his priority. Not even Doom will save you. A life. You... He passed. I don't know. What, what does his deck do? Like, this is a ramp deck, but... What if a ramp deck was shit? Like, that's what he's playing. Okay, boys, I think we ranked up enough. Three... Actually, four ranks in the first day. Up by 25 cubes, I think. Yeah, by... Actually, I'm up by 27 cubes. Let's go back to deck edit. This was crazy. So we kind of broke the ladder with Supergiant right now. Why? Because Supergiant is absolutely insane. This card is one of the best tech cards ever released, especially because it kills... Okay, so how many do you want to kill? We have uh, killing stuff like Modok. Uh, actually, it can combo with Modok as well, but I don't think it's a great combo. You can even delay stuff like Leech. You can make a Taskmaster Shuri deck with, like, the Blob. There is so much stuff you can do. You can make, like... Okay, so here's a deck idea I have right now for you to do at home. So you can just play Supergiant, 
play Taskmaster and then play the Blob and the Taskmaster will copy the Blob stat line. There you go. That's how much potential Super Giant has. And it's not even talking about countering stuff like Leech, Sarah and the other stuff. It is an absolutely insane card that I think most of you should try to get. And that's because the box is absolutely cracked. You have Zabu, you have Darkhawk, and that is just the only thing I can say about the deck. Otherwise, the deck is uh, the biggest idiots in Marvel Snap. If you don't have any cards like Gladiator, make sure to replace them with stuff like Maximus. Miss Marvel is, of course, your best stat stick, so you can't replace her. And every single other card is series free and below, besides the Alive, which you really need. Please get the Alive. It's too good. It's always too good. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a quick like, comment, and subscribe as I do these every day. I do kind of wacky decks, meme decks, and all that stuff. So, hey, I was Romic, and I'll see you in the Snap Mania. Love all of you.